Hey, hi little guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Blair and I am actually a dietetic intern. I'm in school to become a dietitian and I share healthy recipes, grocery hauls, just days in my life with my fiance and my French bulldog. And, oh, that's me. And I'm starting a new rotation today in my uh, dietetic internship. I'll talk more like in retrospect, I think, about it just because I'll have a better idea of it, but I'm starting my first day and I have to dress business casual, which I haven't done in three and a half years since my prior job in marketing. So let me just show you. I had to get like a whole new everything. Also, sorry, just ignore the mess. Why is it so dark? Okay, so I'll quickly show you my little business casual outfit. This is again my first day. I hope it's not this dark when I'm editing, but it is my first day, so I'm Kind of playing it safe with the business casual and then based on what everyone else is wearing, you know, I'll kind of like figure it out. But I just have this black blouse from, I think it's old from Forever 21, but I will link similar ones. These pants are from Amazon. They're like those, can you see it close the paper bag a little bit? They have like these little belt loops. You tie a little belt. They're super comfortable. They feel like joggers, which is, I'm obsessed with them. I have a size medium in these, and then I just have these flats. I realize I don't have any flats anymore because I have not needed them in three and a half years. Oh, big serum and shadow hip So I actually got these at a Buffalo Exchange near me for $14, and they're Cole Haan. Like, how crazy is that for $14? So, shopped a little used section there. Great. I just have my Amazon hoops in. My watch that Matt got me for my birthday. Um, that's it. Again, playing it safe. For lunch, I'm going to bring just a Daily Harvest frozen lunch and kind of figure it out. They said they have a microwave, so again, I'll figure. This is a whole day of just guessing. <laughs> I'm going to bring, going to make an iced coffee for the car because I do have to drive about 15 minutes. So this is my current coffee lineup. I'll pop it in here. I already worked out this morning. Gonna have a coffee, and then like I said, I'm gonna bring just a daily harvest bowl. This is our daily harvest shelf. Um, cauliflower rice and pesto, or cauliflower rice kimchi. I've never had the kimchi one. Let's try it. Oh. I have like oatmeals, uh, what is that? Oh, the chia bowl back there, and then my favorite smoothies. I have the mint, chocolate, chocolate blueberry. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this one just to put it in the microwave for a couple minutes. I have a frozen, I have a fork. I also have some protein bars in there. Um, what am I bringing? Protein bar. Oh, protein bar and that trail mix that I made the other day. So, pack this up. Super simple, just some snacks. Have my water bottle, gonna have my iced coffee. Hello. Hello. You look very professional, my love. Thank look you. at her, she's getting ready to leave the house for the first time this year. <laughs> so fucking true. <laughs> Come here. What should I eat today? Okay guys, I wanted to come on here. Well, first off, I'm wearing my... Oh. <laughs> Kate Herman, don't mind me. I went to Target. I honestly just needed to kill like 20 minutes before an appointment and here we are. Didn't need anything, but... I'm gonna show you what I got. And then this is that 
I showed this in my last vlog. I got this adorable, just like knit. Can you see? That's better view of it. Knit set, matching set. It was on sale. I'll link it again. Hopefully it's still on. So I got it in this color, this like beautiful chocolate brown. And then also the nude, like so soft. The sleeves go long and they cup at the end. Like so. So beautiful, so soft and comfortable. But I'll link it again. And then my Amazon slippers were back in stock finally. They're like a two-toned. These were sold out. I need to get another pair of them actually. So I'm gonna put another order in. But let's see what I got at Target. Thank you so much. Okay, first off, I got this adorable white top. Maybe I'll, here, let me put you down. Okay, hi. So, I got this adorable just white linen top. I love tops like this. I had one in our, for our trip to Mexico, but it got trashed because I brought it to the beach and it was from Amazon. I'll link that one down below too. It's super cheap, but great quality. Um, but like I said, it got trashed like sand and it was just like wrinkled to like, no, it was just gross. Um, but I got another one at Target, just has a cute pocket. I love to wear these just with like high-waisted jeans and then like unbutton like the first couple buttons, fold it over and then like either tie up the front or tuck it into the front of jeans. Here, I'll show you. This outfit is really cute. <laughs> these are my favorite jeans. These are Levi wedgie fits. I'll try to find them down below. They have like the raw hem, high-waisted, super cute on the butt. I love all the wedgie fit jeans these and then i just got these new vans i got them on sale at dsw they're like a little camo i've always wanted vans like this but i wanted like a little unique twist on them so they just have this cute little camo so imagine this these jeans these shoes my amazon sunglasses these are amazing they're like little ray-ban dupes so cute my little Princess Polly mask and this top like tied up. This would be such a cute vibe. How cute is this outfit? <laughs> you guys get the vibe? You guys get it? Okay, like super cute. So that's where I was going with the top and the shoes. Again, I'll link everything I can find online. Also, you guys have been, wait. Let me set you back up. You're balancing on my pot. My plant. <laughs> Put it down. You guys have wanted me to share more like fashion, so I'm really trying to. Um, I'm actually putting in an order for another Princess Polly haul. Uh, I love Princess Polly. You know that this mask that I wear every day is from them. They have the best basics. But I want like Matt to be involved somehow. Like maybe if he picks one outfit or something like that, would that be interesting to you guys? Like I'll pick out majority of the clothes, but then like maybe have him pick out like an outfit or something. And then he like describes it on the haul. I think that could be cute. I don't know. So whatever, I'm gonna, gonna be getting another mask when I, uh, that exact mask, I'm gonna get another one when I order again, but I digress, this is Target. <laughs> but I just wanna tell you more hauls of fashion stuff are coming, okay? Next, another Target staple that I always get, I get like, I have this shirt in every color, every neutral color. It's $5, literally 5.00. It's size medium, the wild fable, just like cropped tops. I've talked about these before. Again, same outfit as this, switch out the top. Just ripped jeans, some sneakers. It's such a cute little look. Simple, easy. I also got these sweatpants on clearance actually. I got them in a size large. Uh, I sleep in them. They're so comfortable. Um, Wild Fable also. Cuffed at the end, like little jogger sweatpants. Honestly, the most comfortable sweats I've ever owned. Like, I need, I want them. I don't want, it's like at the point where like, I don't want to wash, I don't want to wear them too much because I don't want to wash them because I don't want them to get ruined, but I feel like they'll just kind of wear in more. But they're so cute. Oh my God, this, you got. Stop what you're doing right now. If you're struggling with mask me, like acne, around your mask area. This is salicylic acid body spray, but it's amazing for masks. So what I do is you just take it, do like two sprays on your mask and it kills the acne causing bacteria. 
it's so great target's having like a 20 percent off sale right now so on skincare i'll link it down below i'm not even kidding you need this like even if like, I don't even know. You just need it. I think it's, like, made for, like, back knee and stuff. Like, back acne or body acne. Like, body spray. Use it on your mask. And thank me later. So I, that is, like, the most important thing of this haul. Get this right now. Okay? Okay. Thank you. I've been having to wear my mask uh, at my job, obviously. Now that I'm going in all the time. Every day. And I wear makeup. So, it's just my face is not doing too great. So, that is helping so much. Um, I also picked up another one of my favorite dry shampoos. The Batiste. Whoa, I love the rose gold scent. Whoa. This is one of my favorite scents, just the rose gold. Not too fruity or sweet like some other ones. Not like I really care, but anyway. And then I picked up another one of my favorite perfumes from the Good Chemistry brand. It's called Queen Bee. This is also always sold out. So I don't actually need one right now because I still have a little bit of my other one. But I saw it and I had to get another one. I don't even know how to describe it. Mm. Mm. I mean, it says vibrant and bold with a touch of sass, whatever that means. So good. If you're in storage, definitely go smell it um, or just trust me on it. But that's my Target haul. Um, yes, excuse me. Oh, you want to just go sit on my new white shirt? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Anyone else's dog just so clingy and needs to be by you at all times. That's okay, because I love it. All right, I'm gonna finish editing this vlog to get it up ASAP. I have two vlogs upcoming. Oh, I guess I should explain. I've been without my laptop for the past two weeks, two and a half weeks actually, and I'm having to borrow my friend's laptops and their older laptops and they don't have the software that I use to edit my videos. So I have Matt's laptop, then my other friend's old laptop. Then my other friend has a newer MacBook Air and she's letting me use that on her iMovie because her iMovie is actually updated. So that's what I'm using to up uh, uh, upload vlogs, but I have to borrow her computer for like four or five hours a time when I want to upload. So I'm, I've only uploaded, this will be my second time uploading with it. So I'm trying to edit two videos right now, schedule them out. So that by the time my computer gets here, I won't be too behind on vlogs, but that's why it's been like an eight, nine day in between. Like longer than usual, okay? Technical difficulties. All right, I think that's updates on everything I wanted to say. Oh, this is just the comfiest outfit ever. Also, I'm so sore from my workouts. Okay. You could be nice. You say hi. You say hi. What is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? You don't know? You don't know what that is? You don't know what that is? <gasps> You're gonna go. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna tell them? Are we gonna go in the. Are we gonna go in the car? <laughs> he loves the car. To my channel uh, today we have a ginormous grocery haul from HEB we live in Texas so that is like the major grocery store I swear to God every time I start talking he starts making noise <laughs> we spent $300 at HEB which is a lot but if you saw our last haul we just survived the like, Arctic tundra that happened in Texas, a little blackout action. So everything went bad in our fridge and freezer or we tried to eat everything. And then we had a green chef come last week so we really did not have to do any grocery shopping. Um, so this is huge. Uh -huh. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob, Bob wants this to be in the video. Okay, yeah, so basically we had to stock up on everything. Um, like I've done before, I organized everything into our meal ideas. So we can kind of give you an idea of the plan for everything. Um, but yeah, with, if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Blair and I'm in school to become a dietitian. I'm currently a dietetic intern right now. And we post all of our grocery hauls, a lot of meal ideas, recipes, just random vlogs in our life. This is Herman, my fiance, Matt. Hello. Well, subscribe if you never want to miss a video with us. We really appreciate it. Um, and let's hop into the haul. Also, if you ever want to see any of these 
meals like come to life or in real time make sure to follow me on instagram i like to post on my stories the meals that we make so it's just easier in real time you don't have to wait for like me to edit or anything and yeah all right let's hop into the hall <gasps> Starting off over here, we just have some produce. I love to snack on apples with making my apple nachos or just on their own, they're delicious. Just some lemons for seasoning, different dishes with citrus. It's an easy way to get a lot of flavor in um, without adding extra salt or calories. Great little tip. And then obviously like lemon water. Bananas just for snacks um, at work. Got a pineapple because they're on sale and I love pineapple. Uh, grilling pineapple is also a great way to make the sugars like caramelize and they taste so good you don't have to add anything else on top of it just grill some slices of pineapple tastes so good i'm um, moving into some snacks we love our crisp bread you guys know this is the hv -E brand but we also get it from trader joe's i put my uh, avocado toast on here my salmon like lox and bagel on here we dip it in salsa dip it in hummus put it on cheese boards very versatile lots of grains and seeds fills you up then we just got some hummus to dip that in and then also just some of these mini bell peppers we love to snack on these we also can slice these in half and fill them with like some marinara sauce some a little bit of mozzarella cheese some, some turkey sauce or turkey pepperoni bake them in the air fryer and it's like a quick little pizza boat really good just some string cheese for snacks greek yogurt you guys know i'm obsessed with greek yogurt and i put it on everything savory sweet um, in my cookbook, I actually show you how to use Greek yogurt oh, like 11 different ways or something. A lot of different ways. So we love her. And then I also just wanted to, I haven't had cottage cheese in so long. So I just wanted to try some of that out. I love putting hot sauce on that as a snack. Random, I know. Okay, for the first meal, we are doing little pizza boats in a way. So we're going to do them on spaghetti squash. So we'll just bake this in the oven. Put some marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese saute some onions mushrooms jalapeno some or pepperoni on there and then just some cheese we can also do the same thing in these bigger pe uh, bell peppers too so basically you can do the same thing depending on like if you want like just a little snack if you want a meal out of it then we just got some of these salad kits we love these they're just easy when we don't feel like cooking we can put just some chicken on these a Caesar salad and then the Asian sesame. We can also make egg roll in a bowl with it. We've shown how to do that before with ground turkey. So delicious. Next meal we have is our steak salads. You guys know we love these. Um, we don't eat a lot of red meat, but we like to get it for our steak salads. Um, and I'm trying out, I've had this, this dressing before. We love the Bolt House Farms dressing. I just usually make the dressing and I was just feeling lazy. So I got the chunky blue cheese. It's a yogurt based dressing in the refrigerated aisle. And it's 35 calories for two tablespoons, lower fat option because it is yogurt. So it's a great option if you want like a creamy dressing. They have ranch, they have they have a ton of different ones. Then we just got cucumber, some mixed greens, tomatoes, gorgonzola, avocado, onion, and that. Then if you guys have been following me along on Instagram, you know I've been obsessed with my spring rolls. Someone pointed out they're like, it makes me uncomfy <laughs> that it's cold skin and I 100% agree. Um, never realized that until someone pointed it out, but uh, I have to pick up some shrimp my Argentinian shrimp from Trader Joe's So we don't have that right now, but I am going there this week But we can just you just like you poach some shrimp So just defrost the shrimp put them in some boiling water until they get opaque and then just fill it with whatever veggies you want We'll do like lettuce jalapeno slices avocado cucumber carrot slices onion I'll do pick pickle ginger you could do tofu. Uh, I do it vegetarian a lot, just with literally just veggies, not even tofu or any substitute, but you can add shrimp or tofu if you want. Also, so delicious, so easy. I've also shared that on YouTube also. This is new. Okay, so I never buy imitation crab. This is, I don't, I don't know, I've never, I never bought it, but I wanted to make sushi at home, so like some California rolls basically. So we got some nori. I got these little crab slices. I'm just gonna peel them off and put them in the sushi, well, in the nori. So that's just seaweed nori. Then fill it with avocado, jalapeno, onion. Basically like what I would fill this with. Gus put crab in this. A lot of my meals can kind of overlap which we like because then there's never really any leftovers. So we just kind of go with the flow in that way. 
Another meal we're having is uh, Asian teriyaki salmon with Brussels sprouts. And we got this specialty mushroom trio. We got this before. We're obsessed with mushrooms, just sauteing them really plain on a pan with just some avocado oil spray and spray them a little bit, get them a little crisp. They're so good. Some garlic, salmon, green onion, just roasted Brussels sprouts. And then I love this no soy, low sugar teriyaki sauce from Purple Kitchen. Great stuff. We can also put some red bell pepper in there. Just really healthy, heart healthy fats, a lot of good fiber, nutrients, that sort of thing. Then we also are with those shrimp that I'm getting from Trader Joe's, we're gonna do like a shrimp uh, sheet pan bake just with some sliced radishes, some zucchini. I'm gonna get some andouille chicken sausage from Trader Joe's too. And we're kind of playing off like a crawfish boil, like very, very broad term. Um, we're not claiming that it's a crawfish boil. It's not traditional by any means. I, we understand that. But like flavor profiles, so like Old Bay, that kind of thing. So that's what we're doing with these. Um, oh, we're having a little, this, this meal will be fun. We made Crunchwrap Supremes on the channel before, but we're just going to do them again because it sounded really good. So we've got some our favorite low-carb tortillas, ground turkey with some taco seasoning, saute up or do raw jalapeno, some lettuce, and just some cheese, and there you go. Then this is like a random area. I love these Green Giant Simply Steam bags of veggies. They're just so easy to throw on the side of a dinner if you're just not feeling like cooking or prepping veggies or for a, um, a prepped lunch. So if you're meal prepping, these are great to just have on hand because you just don't want to cook sometimes and they're freezer staples and they're great. Also, if I'm snack feeling snacky during the day, I will just throw one of these in the microwave and eat that as my snack and it's perfectly fine. I grew up eating these Brussels sprouts in a butter sauce. It's so random, but my mom always used to serve these as a side and so they just have a special place in my heart, okay? All right, then we just got some cauliflower tots. We love these in the air fryer. Just for, we're having anything really, or just want a snack, we'll have those. You guys want to deal with the Boca bat patties, these spicy chicken ones, we make them taste like my chickens. They're so good. A bunch of our bonza pastas is chickpea pasta. Higher amount of protein in it, so per two ounces, there's 12 grams of protein, which is like not a lot of pasta at all, so it's very easy to get. We got all different kinds. Um, we got some chicken back there some chicken breasts and chicken thighs. We just bought a bunch of meat. We throw a lot of it into the freezer just to have on hand. We're not eating all this in like the next two weeks or anything. It's just to have on hand in the freezer. We can make like a chicken parm pasta with that. Or my mom sent us this awesome care package from this company PS. It's a spicy Nashville hot chicken seasoning. So naturally we have to make chicken with it. I um, can't wait, love Nashville hot chicken. Haven't had it in so long, but really good. Then we just got some wrap stuff, so like deli meat and some cheese, and then some eggs. Oh, and then we just got some random things. This is my, I love this cold brew coffee. I've been really into coffee, or cold brew coffee. Um, I don't drink coffee all the time, but when I do, it's nice to just be able to pour out of the fridge into a tumbler and take it to go, running to work. And then just my favorite refried beans that I just put in a tortilla and I literally eat just beans in a tortilla sometimes. Again, I don't know <laughs> why that is so good to me, but it is. All right, so that is everything, you guys. It is a lot, but like I said, we spent $300. That is not something we do every time. So it's gonna last us a ton. We stocked up. No, I screwed up. I screwed up. Is your return flight? What are we doing? 5.15? AM? All right, hold on. You said 5.15 AM? Is Jeff gonna be 30? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. Brussels sprouts in here with a little bit of olive oil and just salt and pepper and some water to steam, covering them. I'm going to put, sorry, I'm on the phone with my mom. <laughs> she is trying to book a flight, but she's on mute right now. Put two of these salmons in here with a little bit of this no soy teriyaki sauce, lower sugar, can really you good. Write this down and then you can tell me, I okay, one sec. <laughs> I was on the phone with my mom, so I was trying to talk to her, help her book a flight while trying to prep this. So let, I was, so, so far I cooked the Brussels sprouts 
over right here. I have the salmon fillets marinating in a little bit of this. I'm gonna prep some mushrooms. These are lion's mane mushrooms. I don't know what these are, but we're literally just gonna saute them on the pan, spray with a little avocado oil spray, and they're so good, you guys. Oh, it's hard to describe. And then we're just gonna top everything with a little green onion, and that's that. Chopped up some of that lion's mane. It looks like chicken on the camera, <laughs> but it's not. Um, and then I just got some green onion ready to go, still marinating. I'm waiting for Matt to get back to the gym or give me an ETA, because salmon and mushrooms cook quick, so I'm just gonna kinda throw those on when he gets home. And we'll bada bing bada, I'm just gonna pan sear these. I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil down and bake away. I'm bummed because I got a call from This is the final meal. We have the sauteed. Lion's mane mushrooms are so good. You have to try mushrooms if you have not tried to cook like fancy mushrooms before. The salmon, we just topped it with everything with a bagel and some green onions and Brussels sprouts. Topped it with some lime and this is Dint Nut. All right, I'm getting pretty hungry right now. I just got off work early. We have a presentation on Zoom later tonight at seven that I'm giving like a little nutritional seminar. So we got to go home early so we can, cause we're gonna be working late basically, but I'm starving. So I'm going to whip up just a wrap. I've been craving buffalo chicken and just based on what we have in the fridge, this is what I'm gonna make. And I have also just been loving wraps lately. They're so quick, so easy. You can pack them with protein, veggies, take it anywhere you wanna go with it basically. But I'll show you kind of how I'm taking my buffalo chicken craving and making it happen, as we do. All right, so I am gonna do just one of these whole wheat tortillas from La Tortilla Factory. And then we have some uh, deli turkey meat. So what I'm gonna do is Use that as like a play on the buffalo chicken. I'm gonna put some red hot. If you like spicy, this extra hot red hot is phenomenal. We just tried it, it's so good. I'm gonna do some lettuce and some of this yogurt, Bolt House, Farm, Bolt House Farms chunky blue cheese dressing, 35 calories for two tablespoons. It's great, really filling. And then I've just been snacking on an apple on the side, so this is all that's left, but it was a pretty big apple. So that's gonna be my quick lunch, and I'll show you what it is when I'm done. I Final product, I added a little Laughing Cow Wedge cheese, but you can just use shredded cheese or anything you want, and that is the final product. You could also add like carrots to it. I'm doing it up. Carrots to it, tomatoes, a lot of different options. So good, also if you don't like blue cheese, you can just do ranch dressing or any of the other Bolt House Farms, they have a ton of options. This is so good though. Mmm. Apple on the side. No. Dinner tonight. <laughs> this was a super simple meal because we are we have a busy night. So we had some leftover salmon fillets. So Matt, how'd you make the salmon? I caught it with my bare hands. <laughs> okay. And I said, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> no, I just pan fried them. No. Oh, what was our tip? Skin side up first. Skin side up first. And then finish it skin side down. Yeah, and I think the reason for that is so the filet doesn't fall apart. That makes sense. I think it makes more sense when you're grilling it. Yeah, because there's grates. Yeah, it's yeah. easier to fall apart. True. All right, so we just have one of these H-E-B salad kits, Caesar one, and then we just have blackened salmon on top. We didn't do the entire dressing, and we. Did, we did a half of the Caesar and then half of the Bolt House Farms blue cheese dressing that we love. Um, and then we also bulked up the salad with some just mixed greens. We have like a... Oh, we forgot to put the tomato. Ah, we didn't put the tomatoes in, oh. but whatever. It's quick. We have a busy day. I have a presentation in 45 minutes at 7 p.m. Then we have a volleyball game. So Woo. we are moving. Woo. Moving and shaking. Okay. Just finished dinner. It was amazing. 
Like I said, I am about to oof, give presentation, a Zoom presentation, oof, about sports nutrition to some people. Um, and then we have, oof, and then we have a volleyball game, so I'm very excited. But this is what I've been working on, like, this whole week is this presentation with my preceptor. Um, she's presenting with me, so it'll be fun. It's a group of nine-year-olds who play lacrosse, and they're themselves and their parents just want to know some healthy uh, sports nutrition tips, how to fuel up for pre-game, post-game, that sort of thing, um, snacks, just the basics so it's fun this is like the part of dietetics like the education part that i actually really enjoy hence why i started a youtube channel just sharing healthy meal ideas um making healthy eating more accessible and not as intimidating intimidating because i know it can be sometimes so that's what i'm up to just want to check in i'm trying to get better at vlogging just more of my mundane things that i'm doing rather than just what i'm eating because i feel like all i do is eat um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. No, that was really good, baby. Oh. For dinner, well, it's not really dinner. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try to make some sushi. Sounds right, I have a little cauliflower rice going on the stove, okay? Just the Trader Joe's, whatever, that one that I always use. And I got some of these nori wrappers. I showed these in the grocery haul. Some crab, fake crab. Remember, soy sauce to dip it in, some avocado. Pickle, ginger, and cream cheese. I'm gonna do like a Philadelphia roll, and then I'm gonna do a classic California roll. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Clearly, I've never done this before. All right. Okay, let's take these nori papers. And I think if you don't like seaweed, oh, that was really good. It's over on Solson. Okay, if you don't like seaweed, you could probably just use those rice paper that I shared in that haul too, like for spring rolls. Spring roll paper. Okay, that was not very smooth. Uh, you see your phone's dead? My phone's dead? What'd you say? Oh, you forgot out the wall. Yeah. Well, should you haul a in the, I think Philadelphia, is it Philadelphia cucumber? Jalapeno cream cheese. I really don't know. That was about what I thought. Okay, and then we have these just imitation crab. Easy peel. I've never actually bought this before. Just take one of these. I'm just gonna peel like a string cheese. <laughs> okay. Avocado. Oof, that's a good one. It's gonna. His net is the other option, right? And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream cheese. We're just gonna combine all these, probably. I'm gonna see what works. Let's try to roll this. This is what we're at. We're looking at this right now, okay? We'll see how this goes. I don't really know. I know the rice should go on the outside in a traditional roll. I'm making a hand roll, okay? That's what we're doing. Am I supposed to cut this? Mm. I don't really want to. <laughs> mm. It's a burrito. What's 
wasabi and soy sauce. And this is a hand roll. That's what we'll call it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, Matt, I'll make you one. This is good. Mm. What? Mm. Alright, so I made some for Matt and it looks a lot better. I put the ginger in there, the pickle, pickle ginger. I also put everything with the bagel seasoning and a little sriracha. <laughs> so good. I'm also cooking up more rice because I want more. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Say bye Matt. Hey, see you later. <laughs> okay, bye.